Hello, I'm Steve Morris, Chief Development Officer at Biomia Fusion. On behalf of all authors, I'm pleased to present a short summary of our poster, a Phase 1-2 trial of BMF-219 in patients with type 2 diabetes, covalent 111, describing durable glycemic control with a covalent menin inhibitor BMF-219 during the off-treatment follow-up period at week 26, a full 22 weeks after the last dose of the small molecule. By way of background, the root cause of type 2 diabetes is beta cell dysfunction, which is present at diagnosis and progressively worsens over time. Specifically, at the time of diagnosis, a type 2 diabetes patient has already lost approximately 50% of their beta cell pool, and about 5% of the pool is lost thereafter each year. Menin is a scaffold protein and is an important physiologic regulator of glucose metabolism. Inhibition of menin in normal physiologic conditions, such as during pregnancy, results in an increased beta cell mass and enhanced function. BMF-219 is an oral covalent menin inhibitor under clinical development for the treatment of both type 2 and type 1 diabetes. We have previously reported improved glycemic control with only four weeks of BMF-219 administration and persistence of this control in over one-third of patients for up to 22 weeks after stopping therapy. Here we present week 26 follow-up data in additional patients subsequent to four weeks of either 100 or 200 milligrams BMF-219 therapy in patients with type 2 diabetes poorly controlled with up to three anti-diabetic agents. As before, these additional patients were treated for four weeks, then followed for 22 weeks after discontinuation of therapy. In the 32 patients treated at these doses, at week 26, a minimum 1% reduction in hemoglobin A1C was seen in 20% of patients in the 100 milligram cohorts, while 36% of patients in the 200 milligram cohorts achieved an A1C reduction of at least 1%. After four weeks of once daily dosing, responders defined as patients with a hemoglobin A1C reduction greater than or equal to 0.5% at week 26 and with a baseline HOMA B less than 200 at study entry achieved a substantive increase in HOMA B and C peptide at both dosing levels compared to non responders and placebo patients, indicative of improved beta cell function following BMF 219 administration. In addition, the increases in HOMA B and C peptide levels at week 26 were consistent with the magnitude of reduction in hemoglobin A1C in patients with a baseline HOMA B less than 200, following BMF 219 200 milligrams once daily for four weeks. An illustrative patient case is presented in the poster describing a 51-year-old male with a five-year history of type 2 diabetes. The patient was poorly controlled with a hemoglobin A1C of 8.9% despite receiving metformin. He was treated with BMF 219 100 mg once daily for four weeks. His hemoglobin A1C progressively improved over the study period. At the 26-week time point, a 1.8% hemoglobin A1C reduction was noted. In addition, time and range measured by CGM increased to 70% at week 26 from 44% time and range at baseline. In summary, four weeks of treatment with BMF-219 in patients with poorly controlled type 2 diabetes resulted in a durable glycemic response. At week 26, 22 weeks after completion of treatment, a 1% or greater hemoglobin A1C reduction was seen in 20 and 36% of patients in the 100 and 200 milligram BMF-219 cohorts, respectively. Across all of the 100 and 200 milligram cohorts, 39% of patients safely achieved at least 0.5% or greater reduction in hemoglobin A1C observed approximately five months after the final BMF219 dose, highlighting the durability of the effect. In the ongoing next stage of covalent 111, the expansion phase, Patients with poorly controlled type 2 diabetes are being treated with up to 12 weeks of once daily BMF 219, then followed for up to 52 weeks. Data from this stage of the study will be presented at an upcoming scientific conference. Thank you for your attention.